Hello, my dear learners! Welcome back to our TLE class. I am Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE teacher. Join me as we learn new lesson in TLE 7 Nail Care Services. Make sure that you are holding or reading your module in TLE. Class, let's have a review. You are going to name the tool, material, or equipment used in nail care services. Number one. If your answer is trolley, you are correct. Number two. If your answer is cling wrap, very good. Number three. If your answer is foot spa basin, very good. Number four. If your answer is toenail separator, you are correct. Number 5 If your answer is manicure table, you are correct. Let us watch this short animation. This is Linda. She is a manicurist in Trina's nail salon. This is Daisy, her customer. Before giving Daisy a manicure and a pedicure, they both wear personal protective equipments like face mask, apron, gloves, and salon cape. What do you think? is the purpose of a personal protective equipment. Very good! Personal protective equipment are the garments designed to protect the wearer's body from injury or chemicals or for job-related occupational safety and health purposes. Our topics for today are Use tools and equipment according to task requirements. And observe safety procedure of using tools and equipment. Here are the objectives that you will be able to meet at the end of the lesson. Number 1. Know the proper use of tools and equipment according to task requirements. Number 2. Apply safety procedure in using tools and equipment. And number three, value the importance of using tools and equipment properly and according to task requirements. Manicure and pedicure are one of the best ways to keep your nails look healthy and beautiful. This aid in the aesthetics improvement of your nails. Since we use our hands all day long while working in an office or at home, we need to take proper care of them. The same case with our feet. We put so much pressure on them. It is necessary to distress or pamper them by visiting a nail boutique at least once in a month. Let's proceed to lesson 1. Use tools and equipment according to task requirements. The following shows the proper way of holding and handling some nail care tools 
or implements and equipment. In using nail file, hold the file firmly in the right or left hand with the thumb underneath for support and the four fingers on its upper surface. Place the file slightly under the free edge and file the nail from corner to center, shaping the nail. Never file back and forth. This would cause the nails to crack and split. Do not file deep into the corners. This weakens the nails and hurts the skin and cause ingrown nails. Emery board is held in the same manner as the nail file. Bevel the rough surface of the nail using the fine side to smoothen it. Emery boards are discarded after use of one person. Orange wood stick is held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. To loosen cuticle, work around nail. For applying oil or solvent, slightly dip the cotton-tipped orange wood stick and work around the base of the nail. To clean under the free edge of the nail, from the center toward each side, with gentle pressure so that Live tissue at the root of the nail will not be injured. Cuticle nail pusher is also held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. The dull spade side is used to push back and loosen the cuticles. Keep cuticle moist using cuticle remover while working. Use the cuticle pusher in a flat position to remove dead cuticle adhering to the nail without scratching the nail plate. In using the pusher, avoid too much pressure to prevent injury on tissue. Pick up the cuticle nipper by the handles and turn the cutting edges towards you. Place the bent tip of the index finger over the top of the shank. Place the thumb on the side of the handle and the remaining fingers over the opposite handle. Use it with utmost care to remove dead cuticles and hang nails so as not to injure live tissue. Hold clippers with cutting edges downward between thumb, index, and middle finger. Press clippers handle by squeezing them together and remove excess nail length. In using nail brush, insert the ring finger and pinky in the nail brush handle and brush the nails with a downward motion from the base to the fingertips to clean the nails and fingers. In using nail buffer, place the thumb and the ring finger under the handle of the buffer while the index and the middle fingers are on its top and the pinky is on its side. Apply a small amount of powder over the buffer, then buff the nails with downward strokes from the base to the free edge of each nail until a smooth, clear gloss has been obtained. Buffing helps in giving the nail natural gloss and increases blood circulations to the fingertips. To prevent heating and burning sensation, lift the buffer from the nail after each stroke. In using foot file, start with the coarse side of the foot file. Gently slide it back and forth across the ball of your foot and the bottom of the toes. Still, with the rough side of the file, work mostly on the outside rim of the heel. Flip the file over and repeat the process with each foot. The fine side will smoothen the skin and leave it feeling polished. In using the callus remover, insert the blade into the callus remover with care. Lay the callus remover on the top thick part of the callus. Do not lay the blade above the area that is going to be cut, as this may result in cutting the soft part of the foot, resulting to open wound. Applying light pressure with a steady hand on the callus remover, gently glide it over the callus. Repeat the process if necessary until the callus is thinner. 
Smoothen the callus with a foot file. After soaking the feet in warm, soapy water, use the pumice stone to gently buff away cracked or dry skin of the feet with a soft, circular motion. Never apply heavy pressure to the pumice for this can cause sores, open wounds, and possible infection. In using hand and foot spa machine, make sure that the electrical wirings are dry and protected from accidental water spillage. Set the machine to the temperature that the client can withstand. Let's proceed to our next lesson. Observe safety procedure of using tools and equipment. Number 1. Keep all containers covered and labeled just like this number two hold or move containers with dry hands number three handle sharp pointed implements carefully and avoid dropping them number four Dull over sharpened cutting edges of sharp implements with an emery board. Number 5. Bevel a sharp nail edge with an emery board. Number 6. Do not file too deeply into nail corners. Number 7. Do not use a sharp pointed implement to cleanse under the nail. Number 8. Apply an antiseptic immediately if the skin is accidentally cut. Number 9. Avoid pushing the cuticle back too far. Number 10. Do not work on a nail when the surrounding skin is inflamed or infected. Here are the sanitary rules to be observed in giving nail services. Number 1. Manicuring implements must be cleaned and disinfected after each use. Number two, place used materials like tissues, cotton, and emery board into closed containers. Number three, Wipe the manicuring table with disinfectant and put everything in order. Number 4. Clean the tops of nail polish bottles with polish remover. Number 5. Inspect the manicuring table drawer for cleanliness and order. Number 6. Wash and dry your hands before and after rendering a service. Personal protective equipment are the garments designed to protect the wearer's body from injury or chemicals or for job-related occupational safety and health purposes. Glove is a garment covering for the whole hand. Smock gown or salon cape is a loose cloak or robe worn to protect the clothes. Mask is a protective face covering for hygienic purposes and to prevent the face from chemical exposure. Headband is a band of absorbent material worn on or around the head across the forehead to keep the sweat and the hair off the face. 
Class, we are done with our discussion. Let me check if you truly understand our lesson. On a clean sheet of paper, draw a smiley face if the statement shows observing sanitary rules and draw a sad face if it doesn't. Number 1. Manicuring implements must be cleaned and disinfected after each use. The correct answer is Smiley face Number 2 Throw used manicuring materials on the floor The correct answer is Sad face Number 3 Manicurist should wear smock gown while a customer should wear an apron The correct answer is sad face. Number four, wash and dry your hands before and after rendering a service. The correct answer is happy face. Number five, clean the tops of nail polish bottles with polish remover before closing it. The correct answer is happy face. Number 6. Wipe manicuring table with disinfectant once a week. Correct answer is sad face. Number 7. A manicurist must wear gloves to protect his or her hands from stains and dirt. The correct answer is happy face. Number 8. A headband used by client 1 can be used by client 2. The correct answer is sad face. Number 9. Do not work on a nail when the surrounding skin is inflamed or is infected. The correct answer is happy face. Number 10. Apply an antiseptic immediately if the skin is accidentally cut. The correct answer is happy face. How many correct answers did you get? Congratulations! I hope you learned a lot today and you are all ready to answer all the activities in your TLE module. Again, this is Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE Teacher. See you next time!